Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So we're back with another game of Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I really want to know how you guys are liking this. Um, as far as me playing it personally, this is a good game and it's very intriguing, all of the little minute details. But I don't think that I'm going to stick with it for a super long time because it is very slow paced. So it's not real good casting material and I can only get so much use out of it playing it. But it is interesting learning the depth is very vast um, as far as all the little intricacies and the different ways that you can win. I've learned a lot about it over the last couple of weeks as far as just reading up some and playing it. And hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit better on this one. This game I'm going to actually tackle a system that has more than one star. I am playing the Tech Rebels and I did read all of your comments on the last video. So I learned a lot of things. Uh, for instance, I need to be using my abilities on the capital ships and I need to be expanding a little more quickly and thinking about um, using the tech a little bit better as far as upgrading my mass, not mass, uh, what is it? Metal extraction capabilities and crystal capabilities and that kind of thing. So there's a lot that I need to be doing, but it's just so much to take in. So I think what I'm going to be doing here is I am going to be playing a bit, talking a bit, and I'm probably going to cut and edit here and there um, to figure out what I need to be saying and what I don't need to be saying, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to shoot out a little scout frigate here. We're going to go off to that planet there and then off to our star. There, uh, That's a light frigate. Let me see. Come back here. Where's my scouts? There they are. All right, so scouts away. The other thing I need to do is start learning some of the hotkeys, which I have slightly, but not entirely. And also some of the icons are still a little foreign to me. I gotta sit there and read what it's all about and it just takes a little extra time. So sometimes that gets a tiny bit frustrating, but it will get there. So got insufficient crystal for that because always insufficient crystal. I don't know why. We're going to go ahead and do double civic structure because um, that will let me get my economy up and running much more quickly. We're going to check out what our scouts found over here. This is a relatively unoccupied system with an asteroid. So I'm going to go ahead and send my capital ship and on the way over there, we're going to build a fighter squadron, which is going to allow us to fight off those guys. And then we're going to upgrade our colonize ability so that we can actually do something useful when we get there. The other frigate that I need to build is a colony frigate because I need to be able to colonize the planets that I'm getting to. So we're going to go ahead and push these guys off. Let's take a trip around the planets and see what we've got here. Um, Let's see, shift key lets me queue up new things. So we're gonna jump and jump and jump and then bring our scout away from harm right back to the star. Let's see here, we've got our fighter squadron out. So this is gonna be a no contest here. Capital ship is easily going to knock out the two frigates. Do not want to go ahead and colonize the planet before the siege frigate is dead because then, well, all of our stuff is just going to die a horribly painful death and we don't want that. All right, Colony Frigate, gonna shoot out to the sun and let us take a look at what kind of upgrades we've got available to us. Let's not do anything military for the time being since it has, since this star system, since there's multiple star systems, I doubt that there is anyone on our specific one. So I think we can forget about enemies for the time being. Let's go ahead and do one upgrade each on crystal and mass. This is an ice planet to the left. We have asteroids with a couple of metal extractors on the top end there. Ah, colonized already against my will. So he's just going to go ahead and fight all these guys. That's okay. That's all right. I didn't tell you to do it, but you can do it if you want to. And then we're going to take a jump over here. This is going to be an asteroid. So we're going to go ahead and push our fleet over this away and claim this world for our very own. I don't know why we're colonizing an asteroid. Seems like kind of a pointless endeavor, 
but I guess we'll do it. Evidently, it is big enough to host an atmosphere, or maybe everyone is living in pods. I do not know, and honestly, I don't care. Let's go ahead and upgrade the people, and that is another tip that I really appreciated that you guys gave me. If you don't upgrade the, um, the civilian infrastructure, the planet is actually costing you credits every tick to maintain. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade logistics and civilian infrastructure. And then we're going to go ahead and drop another civic research station. Because, yes, we need more We need more structures. And then I'm going to drop my first military and another civic. So let's see, no more logistics slots. Well, that's sad. Only three slots. Unless, possibly, these guys count. I do not know. Okay, so it looks like we're sitting pretty good here. Let's go ahead and check our upgrade table one more time. Let's get another metal. And I think we are good. We need to do an Arctic exploration. I think we actually have enough. Yep, let's pick that up and we'll go ahead and send our capital ship on its way to the ice planet to pick that one up. And then let's colonize uh, this one right over here. Is he going? Yes, he is. All right, well, this looks like a plan coming together. Let's go ahead and bump up to four speed. We'll speed run this sucker. Um, not, uh, that, that is one thing that I've yet to come to a balance with. Um, you can have the game move much more quickly than you should. Like the times four speed, it makes you feel really good because things are happening and it's lively and you don't feel like there's anything falling behind and at the same time, if you're not careful, things really, really get away from you. So it can be a severe problem. Let's go ahead and drop money on more crystals and upgrade our crystals by a point. So hopefully we will be coming back into a proportional economy there. All right, the ice planets will be ours. There's a few more frigates on this side, but I am confident that our capital ship is more than capable of taking care of it. If it's not, it is not much of a capital ship. Even though this is a support ship, it should technically have enough guns on it to be able to hit all this. Let's take a look at this awesome 3D fight here. I made this comment before about how awesome the 3D effect was. It's still a little bit on a plane, which I mean, you can't really avoid since it is a game. Um, you have to have a usable user interface that is not going to just kind of get away from you and be completely unintelligible. But they do a pretty good job of capturing the 3D aspect of space. Okay, so this has been acquired. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and drop our mines, upgrade our civilian infrastructure and logistics. We're going to build a couple of military labs on this one because we need to start working towards jumping from star system to star system. And one more civic research. We're running low on crystal again. It's always the crystal why is it always the crystal let's go ahead and buy and we will do one more there we don't have a volcanic planet so i don't think we need to worry about that let's go ahead and hop over to the asteroid belt here to grab those resources and we will drop civilian infrastructure and our mines did we drop our mines over here i don't think we did there we go. Lots of crystal. Seems like the ice planets are entirely crystal, actually. I think someone mentioned that. Um, I can't remember what the volcanic planets do, but I do remember someone saying that the ice planets have tons of crystal. Which kind of makes sense when you think about it. Let's go ahead and explore this planet. Maybe we'll find an artifact. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I don't see anything. All right, so let's drop a military lab 
a civilian lab and a military lab. That's all of our logistic slots. And then we're going to start throwing down some factories on the other side. So with this, I now own the metal and crystal extractors. Our little uh, colonization ship has done its job beautifully. We now own the entire star system. So from here, basically all we do is wait and tech up our resources. And I do realize that I'm missing trade ports, but I'm not ready to tackle yet another aspect of this. So I'm just going to work with what I've got right here. So I've got long range jumps. Ding. That is exactly what we're needing. And then we're going to want to start upgrading our fleet logistics because we need more command points because we're going to need multiple capital ships and we definitely need better um, I don't know why all of these are labeled differently for their upgrades, but anyway, basically we're upgrading fleet capacities. So I'm up to three commands and not sure exactly how many on my fleet supply. So let's go for 500 and we'll be good. All right. So now we need to make, start making frigates. I'm going to queue all of my units. Stop it. Okay. UI on this one is very, very jumpy. I don't know why. Let's queue our frigates to here. Let's queue our capital ships to here. And then we need to build. Let's do five more. Oh! There's a scout frigate. That means we have long range jumps now for the enemy team. Um, mm. So they're already on the ball. Let's go ahead and bump down to speed two and we will get our ships in order before we proceed anymore. Let's go to military upgrades. We do want to upgrade a couple of these. I'm trying to use my support ships more strategically because there's a lot of abilities here um okay so let's do this one so we can defend against strike aircraft and let's get the heavy cruisers because these guys are ridiculously powerful um as as far as ship to ship i've had very good experiences with them and then let's do, let's not do strike craft. Let's do, let's see, Javelis prototype. Powerful long range missiles. That sounds like fun. Ah, there is our carrier. So we have a capital ship. And we're already getting a couple of attackers over here. So let's go ahead and throw down a defensive structure or seven. Should be good. All right. So my capital ship is going to bear down on that. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? That is the colony frigate. Which is headed for all of my stuff. So let's go ahead and send this over there to defend it. My colony frigate will counter. And then we are going to see our construction frigate go down in a moment, but not before it's got up a couple of defensive structures. So we will be fine there. And hopefully we will score a capital ship kill or at least force a withdrawal. Ah, stop jumping. All right, so that was a withdrawal. So we've got three stars. There is the second one over there. So we can assume they're on that side. All right, now let's make a couple more capital ships. Let's go ahead and get the gunner in. We have insufficient credits for our last point. We can sell crystal. We have a ton of crystal. So let's sell him and let's do a planetary bombardment ship. So that should give us a fairly well-balanced set of abilities with which to project. And let's do um, improved shield arrays. Yes, I'm thinking. And let's sell more of our crystal. And then we need 
to build some of these fantastic little cruisers that we've been looking at. Research prerequisites not met. Oh, it was frigates that I was making. Okay. Let's build five of those. How much are those costing? Let's do one more. All right, and I need to research the constructor because I really, really want to make a star base. A star base is one of the biggest things that I was kind of excited about for this one. Let's see where we can build that. Um, not 100% sure. I need to research the heavy constructor, which you would think would be under the options here, but it is apparently not. Let's take a look under defense. There it is, the constructor. All right, let's grab those two abilities and we will be good. We're gonna go ahead and let that come in here. Let's build our construction cruiser. Insufficient credits. Holy cow, that thing costs 2,000 credits. That thing costs almost as much as a capital ship. Ah, I do not need to lose that thing because that would just be brutal. All right, let's pull together just a couple more of these heavy cruisers and I think we will be good. I was going to build, let's throw in a flak frigate or two and then a couple of these guys as well. Okay, we're gonna bump our speed back up and then we are going to prepare for a star to star jump. Let's go ahead and pick up, um, let's see, we've got an upgrade point. Let's do, let's do raise planets for our upgrade because I think we should do some heavy demolition. And then where is our other capital ship? We have another upgrade point on this one. Let's do ion bolt. We're going to leave everything on auto target, and then we've got one upgrade for this one. Let's do the railgun. Okay. We're all set, people. We got our entire battle group ready. Let's move over here. I think that is everything finished constructing. It definitely is. So, we are going to go colonize some planets right after... I stop twitching. Okay, so where are we at here? Just scout frigates coming through. Let's jump out of here. We're going to get all these guys coordinated and jump to the next star. And I do also want to bring the constructor because you're going to want to build a star base in this star well in order to prevent anyone from transferring. All right, where are you headed, friend? Hopefully back to your home star system. Yes, good deal, good deal. All right, there's our capital ship. We have our entire battle group here, which puts us in a good situation. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop a star base near each one of the entry and or the exit points on this star and then once we have done that let's construct a star base once we've done this we will actually be able to prevent incursions into our own star system which will allow us to be pretty much invincible in our own little corner so the question is, oh, I did not bring any scouting ships. Bad, bad brink. Why did I do that? Well, whatever the reason, 
Let's go ahead and uh, zip back over here. Where's our star? There it is. Oh, we're being attacked. What do you know? Let's uh, throw down a base before... Ah, no! No! I lost it. Where's my colonization frigate? There it is. All right, we got to do something about this. Let's uh, select this thingamajigger here. Let's go over there. We're going to build two heavy cruisers should be more than sufficient to get that over with and then we're going to jump out of system with this in order to reclaim that I can't believe that happened duh 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 so here come our defensive systems hopefully that will take these guys offline before they do any real damage okay well that was depressing Let's send a light frigate. I believe I have some light frigates. All right. Send a cobalt frigate to each one of these planets just to kind of feel out the system. Um, cobalt light frigate. That is a flak frigate. There we go. Light frigate going over there. And cobalt light frigate going over there. This is the pirate base because everything instantly dies as soon as it comes into it. See, this over here is a gas giant, which is not colonizable and basically has nothing useful over there unless I'm totally missing something. So let's go ahead and jump out before we die. Let's jump to the next planet and see what's out here. And then on this side, we've got a dead asteroid which is controlled this is a large star system very large all right we're gonna run hi tail it on the northern side let's see we've got an unoccupied asteroid let's go ahead and hit this and hit that this is going to be a oh what on earth a wormhole that's new all right well we're gonna jump to that side may have to see where that wormhole pops out at okay so this is going to be uninhabited this is going to be who knows what back at our little asteroid here that is inhabited oh my goodness three capital ships ooh penza Let's see, I'm hoping to find that is red controlled. Okay, so let's send our battle group over this way, and we're going to take that away. And then let's take our constructor. Where is he? Don't tell me he got destroyed. Wait, does he turn into a starbase? Is that what's happening here? Let's go to heavy weapon systems, more weapon systems. Ooh, hangar capacity, that's interesting. Let's do that. Because then we can do all kinds of interesting things as far as star system control. Okay, so we're gonna run off into that direction. On this side we have more stuffs. So there's not anything major in here. We're definitely not looking at the home of the other faction. So we're going to actually put our spawn points on this star, on this star base. Let's uh, select our capital ship factory and our two frigate factories. And we need to start thinking about a Titan at some point. Let's go ahead and bring in four more constructors and 10 more heavy cruisers. And then let's go ahead and pick up some more upgrades. We're going to go to fleet logistics and pick up some more command points, which that is all I can get because we are low on credits and high on crystal. So yeah, that's the new drug everyone's doing. Going to pick up that upgrade. Okay, so now we have a command point to work with. 
So let's go ahead and drop another command ship. Let's do one we have not done yet. Fast support ship that's able to capture and damage enemy ships and structures. That looks interesting. A balanced support ship that has unique abilities. Let's do the strike craft support. That sounds like a good time. All right, we are going to throw down some more. No logistic slots available and we'll upgrade civilian infrastructure. Okay, so let's go ahead and basically just skip this and let's go, hmm, hello capital ship. I bet you're jumping back to your star system because you are terrified of what is descending upon you. All right, we're gonna bring all of these star base constructors with us because we are going to bring carnage and mayhem down upon the heads of any who would dare oppose us. Oh, there goes the pirates. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so we have a constructor, but basically no slots for anything. This is a worthless piece of ground, in other words. Oh, no, it can. What do you know about that? So let's go ahead and throw down all the turrets because we are a turtle and we love them. All right. Actually, these guys are not even clicking down because I'm placing so many turrets. I'm tempted to throw a capital ship this direction, but let's just not worry about it. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to because there's just too many pirates. Eh, we'll let it fall. Okay. Let us go. We're going to hit the next star system and hopefully eliminate the threat with a capital ship invasion. All right, we're going to go ahead and punch these guys across too. Throw up a star base on the other side. And we will be golden. Let's see what our star base is doing. Oh, we have 14 flights of fighter squadrons. Holy cow. Let's just go. Go for all of them. <laughs> nice. Let's upgrade our structural integrity as well. Okay. Wait for our resources to regenerate a bit. And now we're going to be in the home planet of our little friends here. So we're going to throw down a star base as a foothold we've still got three constructors with us and i still don't have any dang scout ships why did i not bring them i don't know but we still have cobalt light frigates so we're just going to expend them because they're practically useless anyway and we will find out what's on all these outlying planets here um where are you where are you cobalt light frigate there you are, there you are, Cobalt Light Frigate. Holy cow, you're going to die. Right, run away! All right, that is a very heavily fortified system. That is the capital! So let's go set up a star base in their gravity well and force them out of house and home because nothing thrills your heart so much as robbing someone else of their homeland. Let's see, we've got... Let's give our capital ships a head start because I really don't want to lose a starbase constructor in a battle. Let's see, dump him over here. Let's upgrade um, weapon systems, integrity, and then send our star constructor across. We have a capital ship breaching the gap here, but we'll be fine. There goes all of our ships, not exactly in line like they're supposed to be, but there it is. And basically my goal here is going to be to get the fleet over here, gain a foothold, and drop a star base directly on their capital. And that, oh, I may not even need to. It looks like my ships are actually upgraded enough that they are just stomping everything into oblivion. I've got no extra upgrade points on these. Yes, I do. Let's upgrade a weapon system. Let's us upgrade the force field. And I think that is it. Here's our starbase constructor. We're going to embarrass them by basically setting up shop 
within firing range of their planet. No greater humiliation than someone basically building a lean-to in your front yard and annexing it. That is an awful lot of planet bombardment. Health is going to drop rather rapidly. Our planet is under attack. What planet is that? That is the only planet that is available to attack by pirates. And there are now so many turrets on that planet that I don't think there's any possibility of it ever being killed by pirates. And even as I'm saying that, I know that that's not a realistic assumption, but we're going to roll with it. All right, the only victory is a military victory. We are going to stomp these people through superior firepower, get all of our squadrons online, and hopefully that will allow us to fly so many planes at their faces that they will not even be able to see where they're going. I think it was 14 squadrons on that other one. Some beastly number. All right, let's see, we're very low on metal. Let's go ahead and buy metal and sell crystal, I think is going to be our best bet here. And then we will be ready to fully complement this star base with fighters. We're going to do all bombers on the first wing, and then we'll do all fighters on the second wing, and I think we'll be good to go. Okay. Capital is very nearly dead. So we've got a fair amount of ships on that one. Planet has not been explored. Planet has not been explored. So we are going to take all of our ships and we're going to move to the new capital. I think that is the new capital. No, they're all stars. Okay. There's an artifact present on that planet. What? Since when do I have the ability... Oh, which one of you guys... Um... Well. I guess we'll just run with it. Oh, there's a titan. Crap. Get over here. I forgot to upgrade everything on this one. Run away, constructors. Don't die. Or you could just die. That's totally cool too. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and try to kill this Titan because we need to get rid of that son of a gun before it eliminates our entire fleet. Let's go ahead and do bombers to queue up because that's gonna be our best bet. Oh, what was that? some ability or another. We have eliminated its shield and we are through half of its health. So we are actually doing very well here. It is going to die a horribly painful and fiery death. We have defeated the Titan. That is the backbone of the enemy fleet. I know we don't have our own Titan, but I think we'll be fine without it. Actually, we need to queue up. We've lost a capital ship, I think. Either that, no, it was our upgrades. We still have all of our capital ships. So let's uh, queue up. Where are they? There we go. Factory. And let's do one of those and sell off some of our en oops, enormous amounts of crystal here. We are producing so much crystal, it's not even funny. Let's actually go for 100% firepower. We all know how well that works. Um, what are we short on? Metal. Let's get some metal then. Alright. There we go. Well, they shall be arriving shortly. Oh, good... Yeah, nope, 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 run. I think we just lost our capital ships. One of them, two of them. Oh, no. No. Run away. All right, so we need to go around the outside edge, I think, would be a wise choice. Okay, let's... Um 
Let's upgrade our weapon systems, and we'll be good. Okay, so we need to wait for the arrival of the rest of our ships, and we actually do have a constructor coming. So our plan is going to be to go around the outside edge and come into the system on this end, and then we can drop a star base on the outer rim and that's going to allow us to field fighters inside their gravity well. Someone is going to overthrow that planet because they got the entire star system. That's why. Okay. Oh, can I build ships out of this? Let me see. Construction bays. We need to build, we need to research that because that would be amazing. Um, where's our star bases? Defense? Yes. Remote construction. Yes. Very much yes. Okay, so that will actually give us the option of Nice. So we'll be able to build frigates here, which means we'll be able to build um, starbase constructors, which will in turn be able to convert even more. All right, let's run to this planet and try to capture it. Try, 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 try. And let's go ahead and field some more. Let's put a construction bay on this one as well. Just so we've got it. There's our construction bay. Hello, people. Oh, nearly unoccupied area. So this will be very easy to route through. Let's head out this way. All right, we have unspent points. You never want unspent points. We're going to go for bombers on this guy because we have so many heavyweight targets on the inside. We've got our cruisers. Let's go ahead and, oh, we got two unspent points on this one. Goodness. What is wrong with me? Oh, those are the guys that, uh, those are the new guys that I just got in here. Okay. So we are good to go. We need two more capital ships. That is what we need. Let's go ahead and queue those over here. And let's do... Fleet support. We need more metal in a bad kind of way. Let's go ahead and sell crystal again. And then buy metal. And we will drop another one of those. That's all of our command points. And wait for those to arrive. Or speed up the clock and force them to arrive. It's hilarious how quickly those strike cap craft kill off anyone imposing on the system boom they're all dead <laughs> it's such a beautiful sight all right so we're going to queue up all of the strike craft that we possibly can actually we're going to do bombers on this one and then our next carrier we are going to do fighters and then we're going to send both of these guys to our strike force. All right, we're gonna hit this side of the planet and hit it very hard and we'll see if we can drop all of the defenses in one shot. There is a star base on that side, but it is on the other end of the system. So we will be able to hopefully drop in, provide a front. We're gonna run to this side of the planet. Um. And then we are going to drop our starbase constructor right on the other edge as well and immediately drop a starbase. Hopefully it will not die too quickly. We're going to slow down the clock on this one because every second is going to count. So we're going to grab all of our guys and head this way as quickly as we possibly can before these murderous bomber squadrons reach our capital ships. Arg. Get out. Okay. So I think we're going to be fine. Let's 
wait for our constructor to arrive. Here it comes! Dropping in right where we need it. We're going to move in just out of range of these defensive platforms. And we're going to drop a star base right there. Hopefully we will be able to take this group. This is the capital. Yes! So what we want to do is unseat the government. Because we are all anarchists at heart. At heart. These are the missile batteries that the carrier ships are dropping. That was the ability point that I upgraded. It allows them to drop stationary turrets periodically. They do a very, very nice job of assisting your combat units. Nice, nice thing. We have a shield generator. Hey, let's kill that thing. That seems like a good enough target. It's probably shielding the planet below. I would imagine that is what the shield generator is doing. Yeah, so that's going to allow us to bombard everything. And that's their Titan Foundry. Yes! That means that we're going to be able to eliminate their ability to produce those units. So our base is 22% constructed. I'm going to go ahead and bump the clock back up here since we are doing rather well. All of the fleet is arriving now, but I think we have a high enough concentration of damage in the immediate vicinity that we will be able to defend ourselves until this base is completed. Once this base is constructed, we're going to have a very nice little platform with which to kill everything else. Okay, so we still have all of our capital ships online. Let's pick up our abilities. We're going to jump in. Let's upgrade our cannon again. And cannon, let's do that. We're going to pick up the second stage here. Alright. What was that? Experimental weapon is being constructed. That's not good. Right there. Okay. So that's 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 not too bad. Okay. Alright, we're good. No, come back. Come back. I don't want to lose a capital ship. Stop auto attacking. Okay. Um, let's do upgrade hangar capacities. Because that's what we always need to do. Let's upgrade our weaponry and our hull integrity. I think we will be good to go. And let's keep all of our capital ships at this end. How do I stop you? None auto attacking. Okay. Finally. So you're all just going to park right here, look nice and pretty, and collect experience points for me. Because that is your job. Okay, we got a point here. Let's do... Alright, everyone is fully upgraded. We did lose a capital ship. So basically, I'm going to program the shortest available route. And we are going to build ourselves another carrier only we have insufficient metal again with the insufficient metal thing I don't understand all right one of those we still have our heavy bombardment tool which is going to allow us to very very easily kill off any planets that we encounter we need to kill that thing off with the full firepower of all of our capital ships which is a horrendous amount good Yes, there it goes. Stop auto attacking. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good again. Now we need to. All right, we have a star base in operation. So once we get the full force of our capital ships on arrival, we will tackle that star base once more and that will allow us to eliminate the capital planet. Let's go ahead and knock out trade port and the planet itself. We can move the capital to a different location and I think that will be it. I've been kind of ignoring this star system. I really hope that we don't have a situation where the capital moves to the other star system, but if it does, I think I'm actually going to call this game short because it is getting rather long already. That is the one thing that does kind of bother me about this game in particular. It is going a little bit better since I've gotten everything sorted and since um, I, I kind of have a better idea of what I'm doing. But it's just long, 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 long. Oh, we need to kill this. 
all attack. Because if that Titan comes out, I may actually be in real trouble. Because I am not on my full strength of capital ships at the moment. So we do need to kill that foundry before the actual Titan finishes constructing. Otherwise, it's gonna be an issue. Die! Yeah, this is already back under... Yeah, it's under occupation again. Okay. Well, crap. Titan got out before that died. Alright, kill it off. Kill it off. That's all you gotta do. I think we saw an upgrade here somewhere. There it is. Is it healing quickly? That's what it's doing. Alright. It is going to drop here any second now. It's well below a quarter health. Not sure what that ability is. It's very strange. But I think with the amount of support that we now have, we should be able to kill the planet. We'll see what that does. We can kill this planet and this star base. I think we're just going to call it for this game. I know that it's not a true victory because we did not actually kill everything, but you know, we killed two capitals, we crossed two star systems, and we actually deployed a star base of our own. So I think I can call that a relative success. I know it's still going versus AI, but hey, I've learned a lot in the dozen or so games that I've played of this. Of course, it'll take another dozen to get the economy under control, and another dozen after that to actually do anything worthwhile with the um, with the diplomatic relations, and you know, you can't have everything. So, we're just going to run with this for now. Let's go ahead and move up just in case we actually need it. Aha! Killed it. Let's see if we can kill this starbase. I know we don't have our full strength here, but we're going to go for it anyway. We have our own star base backing us up with tons of heavy bombers. Let's just dive right in here and see what kind of damage we can do to this shield. This is actually not looking very good right off the bat. Let's uh, drop in a third gun upgrade and a suite of heavy bombers. We're going to throw out fighters. And let's upgrade our Gauss Cannon. Ah, no! Two of our capital ships just went kablooey. Well, that is about going to end it right there. Let's upgrade Structural Integrity, and it's going to die before we can do anything about it. Did not even break the shield on that thing. Holy cow, that's strong. My goodness. Fully upgraded Starbase is brutally powerful. Thankfully, the same thing should happen for him, where uh, basically he can't even get close to my starbase because it's got full structural integrity. Actually, we could try more upgrades on this thing. <laughs> Max upgrades in all categories. So, yeah. Hello! endless standoff because basically we have two maxed out star bases of the same faction in the same system and it's just going to go back and forth and they're all going to lose tons and tons of capital ships and nothing is ever going to be able to be done about it. So with that, I'm going to drop this game. Let's call it a stalemate. I know that I am not the best at system management, but I do feel kind of proud of the fact that I managed to lock down a uh, solar system because in the previous couple of games that I tried with multiple star systems I couldn't even defend my own star system because I was taking too long to get the jump upgrades and I wasn't building 
um, star bases. Star bases are apparently very important. I did not realize how important, but they do very, very wonderful things. So I think in future games, I need to abuse them much, much more heavily. As you can see, I mean, this star system, I've got a fully upgraded station here, and it has pretty much prevented any jumps at all from reaching my home system. So imagine four fully upgraded. I think, yeah, stars can provide space for four, I think, is what I was reading about them. All right, so that is Sins of the Solar Empire, second round. Please hit the like button if you want me to do more of these, because if I do not get a big response to these, I'm probably going to do one more week and then drop it, because while it is kind of fun for me to kill some time on, this game is so expansive and long that I can't really, I mean, I'm playing on like times four speed, I think, yes, for almost this entire game and went for 50 minutes straight and basically played half of a game. So I'm sure I could do better, but that is the story of it. So anyway, I hope you've had fun watching this. I definitely had a good time playing it. It is a very different game than Supreme Commander, very different. There are some similarities that I've seen, but not too many. And with that, I am out of here. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please tune in tomorrow. We're going to have a talking points video between me and my wife. Bella and I will be here. We're going to be discussing some things that have been happening to us recently and some thoughts that we've had on those things. And then Thursday, we'll be back with our regular Supreme Commander cast. And I will see you guys over there.